So we are going to learn why the trick for figuring out whether a number is divisible by 3 or 9 actually works. Why is it that we can just add up the digits of the number instead of computing it in a more difficult way? In order to do that, we need to start out by understanding what exactly it means for a number to be divisible by another number. If we say, for example, that n is divisible by 3, what we're saying is that if we take n and then divide it by 3, we'll get a whole number. Or in other words, that n is 3 times some whole number k. The reason this is the same thing is that if we divide by 3 on both sides of this equation, we get n divided by 3 equals k, where k is a whole number. So this is really what we're looking for when we figure out whether a number is divisible by 3 or 9. Now we want to take a look at what numbers actually are. Let's say we wanted to look at 243. When we look at the digits of a number, we know that each of those represents a place. The ones place, tens place, and the hundreds place. So we can write 243 as being equal to 2 times 100 plus 4 times 10 plus 3. This is going to add up to the same result. And now this is where the cool part is. If we look at each of these parts in parentheses, we know that 100 is equal to 99 plus 1. That 10 is equal to 9 plus 1. Now let's expand this out a little bit and see exactly what we have. First of all, we have a 2 times 1. So we can write that at the start. And then we'll add 2 times 99. Well, we can write 2 times 99 as 2 times 33 times 3. Because we know that 33 times 3 gives us 99. For the next one, we have 4 times 1. So we'll put that right here. And then we can add on 4 times, well, 9 is 3 times 3. And then finally, we have our plus 3 here. Now, what do we have over here on this side of our expression? Well, 2 times 33 times 3, since we have that times 3 there, has to be a multiple of 3. 4 times 3 times 3 also has to be a multiple of 3. And therefore, this whole thing right here is going to be 3 times some integer m. That means that if we want to look at whether this whole number is divisible by 3, we really don't have to worry about this part over here. Because if we take 3m, and then maybe this part is equal to 3 times n, if we add those together, 3n plus 3m is the same as 3 times n plus m. n plus m is still a whole number, and so we've proved that our result is divisible by 3. That means that we can basically ignore all of the stuff over here and just focus on what we have on the left side of our expression, 2 plus 4 plus 3. This is the sum of the digits. And the reason that we're able to do this is that each digit represents a multiple of 10. And every multiple of 10 is going to be a multiple of 3, plus 1. The multiples of 3, we don't really care. We just care about that plus 1. So we can add the digits. And if this sum is divisible by 3, this part is a multiple of 3. We know this part is, and therefore we add them together, and we get something that is divisible by 3. Now we can actually do the exact same thing if instead we're looking at whether something is divisible by 9. Notice what I've done here is taken all the exact same steps that we did before, but swapped in a 9 for a 3. So we want that n is equal to 9 times some integer k. We can split up 110 the same way we did before. But notice 99 is a multiple of 9. And of course, 9 is also a multiple of 9. So this part that we have over here, not only is it a multiple of 3, it's also a multiple of 9. So we can just as easily ignore this part when we're looking at divisibility by 9. And that leaves us only with the sum of the integers. In this case, 2 plus 4 plus 3. Well, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. And therefore, we know that 243 has to be divisible by 9. So that is the trick for figuring out whether a number is divisible by 3 or 9. The reason adding up the digits works is because each digit represents a multiple of 10. Any multiple of 10 is going to be a multiple of 9 plus 1, 
or a multiple of 3 plus 1. So we can always take that part out of our equation, and we're just left with 2 times 1, 4 times 1, and our 1's place digit there. We can add up those digits, and it will give us the exact same answer for whether our number is divisible by 3 or 9.